Hi, I'm Art from Stack, and I'm here to show you all the ways that your, your wheels might be magnetic without you knowing. Um, so the Stack Zero doesn't, it works with magnetic wheels, wheels that have steel in them, but it is not as good as wheels that are completely free of steel. So I would just want to point out the ways that your wheels might have steel and the ways that you can uh, work around that. So right here, I have what is actually an aluminum wheel. It's brake tracks aluminum, it's structure is aluminum. Um, but it has a steel bead in its tire. So if I take this spoke magnet right here and just stick it, it does stick. It doesn't stick very strongly, I can take it right off, but it does stick to what appears to be the wheel. What it's actually being attracted to here though, is it's actually the steel bead in the tire. So I've got a different tire here, and what we can actually do with a very strong magnet of the Stack Zero is we can stick the tire right here and it is stuck to the magnets. That's not just jammed in there. If I can widen the magnets, that wheel, that tire is completely in there. So that's what a steel bead will do. And that will attract the Stack Zero's magnets and they will clamp slightly. Uh, we're going to put up another video shortly to show you how you can get around that, but that's just something to watch out for. And uh, you'll, in that case, you would probably want to buy like a cheap folding tire for about $40 to uh, get around that problem. The next way that your wheels can have uh, steel in them without you knowing it is this is actually my wheel. And this is the wheel that came on my very first road bike, which was about an $800 road bike. And its problem is it is actually aluminum all the way through. If I put the magnet here, it just falls right off. Um, but if I put the magnet here, it sticks. So the way that they construct these wheels is they have an alum aluminum hoop and then when they're joining the aluminum and the aluminum hoop together, uh, they put a little steel joiner in there and weld it and then file it down. So what this wheel does is actually the most annoying kind of way of having steel in your wheel because it makes the magnets pulse once per revolution. Uh, again, we're gonna have uh, another video where we go into detail on how to uh, deal with that, but uh, that's just a way to look out and be aware that you may have to do a little bit extra to get your Stack Zero working very nicely with your bike. Uh, the final way that you can have steel on your wheels is if your wheel is actually made of steel. Please do check the Stack Zero is not compatible with pure steel wheels. The other ones, you, there are workarounds, but you want to make sure that if your wheel is completely steel, you are probably going to have to go get a new wheel. Our recommended wheel is a Mavic Open Pro, it's what I ride on. It's completely aluminum and has a nice thick brake track, so it gets lots of resistance. Uh, that's it. Happy riding!